in preparation of what's going to be hopefully exciting and fruitful Euros. Back to the lines we go. 0371722334. James, the Burnley fan has dialed that number from North America. All right, Jimbo? All right, James. how are we doing? I'm all right, matey. Welcome to the show. Oh, Thanks for taking the time out of the phone oh. at TalkSport. What do you want to say? Well, first off, um, first time caller, long time listener. Oh, well, welcome classic. aboard. Where have you been, Jimbo? Where have you been? Love it. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen. Here's two things, right? Number one, Conor Gallagher. Oof. That was rough. That was rough watching that. Like, feel for the lad, because obviously, to get to that level, you've got to be pretty decent, right? But that was a rough performance on his part. So he's probably sat there in the dressing room thinking, hmm, questionable whether I'm making the plane, to be honest. The second thing about that, it makes me worry. The performance, you know, the result, not too bothered about it, but the depth for the England squad, I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's concerning me a little bit. Didn't think he was very good. But Chilwell looked off the pace. Or Ollie Watkins missed his chance. And on the Watkins thing, right, we missed Harry Kane, not because he's the number nine and the goal scorer. We missed him because he, he, when he drops deep, he creates. That's a creative force. That our wide players thrive off. That's what we missed tonight. That's what we missed. And I think there was, I think that's something that I'm, I've got concerns about. The depth of the England squad at the minute, I don't know if it's as good as everyone's making out. Right. When when England are fully strength, but we say fully strength, there are only two players really missing. That was a, a strong England team, bar Harry Kane and Saka. And I think if Saka was playing, um, if, if Harry Kane was playing today, would the result have changed? What chances did you see yeah. that? Harry Kane would have done better with Watkins. There was no chances. England didn't create anything the really. One chance, the, one, the one chance. The one chance. The one, well, when Watkins blazed over the ball, that's the classic, isn't it? International football. It was a tackle. He didn't miss it. It was actually a good tackle. He didn't miss the chance. It was a good tackle. It was a good tackle. So well, that's just the point, though, isn't it? The Kane, Kane creates more opportunities for the players around him. I think I felt we, we just looked a little bit too deep. Just a little bit. A little bit too dimensional. But but James, here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I really appreciate your yeah, call. Well. But I don't understand why England fans get so wrapped up and uptight. And this is a learning process, okay? We've got injuries. This is about yeah. finding out. And Gareth said that. This is a direct quote. We don't know what's going to happen yeah. in the summer. And he's got to try and work out how to solve these conundrums. Now, look, anyone that's seen Conor Gallagher play for Chelsea, when he plays in the two of the deeper, he's ineffective. If anyone has seen him play that role, he's not a number eight. He's not a number six. He doesn't play that role well. He doesn't. It's as simple as that. I would have started in there. He actually is, uh, if you want someone to close down, high press, high intensity as a number 10, he's all over it. He's not getting ahead of Bellingham. I think... Uh, that, that's that's no, simple. So... That's why I think Maynou has listen. got a chance of starting. Yeah. He's not international. He's not an international yeah. player. It's simple as that. He's he's good for Chelsea, great in the Premier League. But if you're going to put up on the on, on the world stage against the best players in Europe and in the world uh, yeah. for your national team, he's not cutting it. Yes, he can run around, put a good um, okay. challenges, but on the ball, technically, he's totally not agree. good enough. I totally agree. There were moments when even Phil Foden looked frustrated with him. Do you know what I mean? I was just like, oh, dear, dear doctor. I don't know. That's but, but, but James, here's the thing, you see. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think Connor was told. I think, as I said, I felt in our possession, we'd become a 4 one 4 one Connor, you look where Connor's starting position was. It wasn't alongside Rice. It was ahead of Rice. He was actually up with Foden, Bellingham. If you're playing that, all right, well, if you're playing that, why not put Madison there? No, but the, here's the thing. But Connor, no, but the, Connor can run around, yeah, tackle, they, they, block, they, intercept. So, Madison's not that Ma kind of player. Madison, Madison's got the same problem, by the way. He's he's in the same. He's got the same problem as Gallagher because Bellingham's a ten. So if you're going to play a four-two-three-one, there's only num num one number ten, and it ain't Madison. It ain't yeah. Connor. And at the moment, it's not Foden. You've got to put Bellingham. Well, they, so, they, so, so then the, the, the position alongside Rice is the biggest question mark for me in this England it team It right needs now. to be in a defensive minded with with technical ability. With well, it sounds like Maynard to me. It sounds like Maynard. This is going to be controversial. You've got to put Henderson in there if he's fit. Oh, no, no, no. no James, you know what? No, up until this point, mate. Yeah. James, honestly. You was brilliant until this point. James, James. Up till this point, that was a really good call. <laughs> 
No, but that's so not the, but that's not the answer. <laughs> Conor can Gallagher. Can I give you one example? No, Jimbo. Can I give you one shout as to why we put Henderson in there? All right, right, okay. Oh, you've gone. Let's go speak to Scott, the Man United fan. Scott, good evening, welcome. How are you doing, boys? I'm all right, Scotty. Welcome to the show. I agree with you in the fact of Gallagher, he wasn't played right tonight. And I don't think Rice is a DM. I think Rice is box to box now. I know, but now, but then you create, you solve one problem. Wouldn't you? But who'd you play that? Okay. You play Manu beside him, he's going to sit naturally deep. All right, look, you've got, you're you're pushing an open door with me. Yeah, I I think think Manu has to be tried in there. Yeah, I think you can't. it, it, It would have been Henderson before, but his legs have gone. I mean, so Maine is Maine has got he's got this he, kid looks like he's got the lot. I know it seems like he's been accelerated, but, but it doesn't matter. I know people he's young and it's going to be his first. It doesn't matter if you can play football. By the way, Hendrick is seventeen, just scored yeah. for Brazil. There you go. Oh, it, but I still think it was you know it was a makeshift defence, wasn't it? At that point, do you know what I mean? It's yes. Like, but what I'm saying is, you know, he's given it, the chance. <laughs> but it, it, yeah, and he's he's taken it, and it's it's the way it goes. But I just think there was lots of wrong with England tonight, and it it mm. wasn't necessarily Gareth's fault. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's, I'm not a Gareth fan, don't get me wrong, but I think, I think I'd have brought Gomez on instead of Conjure at right back because Foden needs someone to go past him. Mm-hmm. He's not that kind of a winger. And then you need someone to sit a little bit more than deeper than, than Rice because yeah. Rice pushes but, on for Arsenal. But do you, know, do you know what, Scott? These are, these are why these, these friendlies are there. England fans, calm yourselves down. If this was a, if this was a pre-season friendly, there is no way you'd be phoning up and being as aggressive and, and this knee-jerk reaction about he's not good. This is a friendly. This is part of the process. Find out. Today, what I learnt was the biggest problem, I think, is alongside Rice. Who is that player? 03717 We'll get your calls in England. Uh, reflecting after a 1-0 disappointed performance. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the best, but we got beat at home by Brazil. He's Dwayne Pitt. I'm Jason and this is the Game Day phone On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.